Great, I'm here with Tahir Bashir in this series of segments dedicated to uh, companies funding and, and selling companies as well. So uh, we talked about in the first uh, two segments about uh, funding uh, a new company, whether it's uh, music related or technology related, and now we uh, need to talk about uh, selling a company. So uh, first of all, you know, how what is the best way to go about selling a company and how do you make sure that you get the best value out of the business you're trying to sell? Um, I think uh, from a practical perspective, if you're in a market where there are other people that are doing the same thing as you, compare your business to any previously sold businesses that do the same thing that you do and look to see what were the value points of that sale. And then look at your own business and see uh, what are the value points of your business and how you can increase them. Timing is really important as well on a sale. Um, and quite often the timing of a sale can uh, you know, be the difference between getting a very high price and a very low price. Yeah. So you'll see some businesses that are you know, on the up and have a lot more potential but decide to sell at that point because they realize that you know that's the point that it can be scaled and other people can actually add the value and it's going to be more of an opportunity for them to sell and exit rather than letting it um, rather than them funding the costs of the scaling and then getting into a negative uh, balance uh, and then other people look at that business and see it as a failing business you know it's a perception thing Um, deal with uh, your internal arrangements of your business before you look to sell so if you've got any shareholder disputes make sure that you resolve those it's important that all of the shareholders are aligned and then think about um, get, getting some professional support as well I mean corporate finance advisors uh, actually do have a, um, a place to, to play for a lot of these uh, sales sure. because their job is to make sure that um, you know they've advised you on you know you, you, how you present yourself on a sale and actually to find potential purchases as well absolutely and looking at uh, uh, you know, comparatively, uh, at your own company compared to other businesses that are in a similar field, uh, how important is it to do that research? And uh, you know, we've seen stories of companies that uh, get purchased uh, for X amount of money, and then similar companies that uh, uh, are operating in a similar field, especially in technology, start being bought uh, for high amounts as well. So, is is, is all that uh, a really important part of the of the play for selling a company? Um, I think it is an important part of the play, mainly to understand the value of your business. Right. So, so a lot of people go into say that kind of sale process not actually knowing what their business is worth. So it's always best from a, a sale perspective for you to have a, a figure in mind that you think is an accurate valuation of your business. And you know that's typically around the you know, methods used of the company's net asset value or the EBITDA, less debt. Um, so if you know how other businesses have been valued and what the value points are and what values they've got, then that helps you assess your business and the true accurate value of it in order for you to present something that's on the market that's realistic yeah, and more so. likely to be bought. That's great. Well, thanks so much. And we're going to continue in the next segment uh, to talk about uh, how to prepare your company for a sale. Thanks, here. Thank you very much.